poignant moments with Sophia. What does that mean? Uh, okay, it means evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret. Uh, not what it meant here. What? What does poignant mean? I don't know. We're gonna have a nice day because it's fucking hot. It's worth his mind. <laughs> it's <laughs> wait, no, wait, I'm vlogging. I, I know. Just throwing on a little cardi. Effortless. Effortlessly, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> this is my slutty top that I have to cover up because we're going to the mall. Her boobs are going to be bouncing around. Do you want to be in the shot? No. No? Okay, gang. So today is going to be a shopping video. How fun. It's a day in the life and we're going to the mall. Yeah. How shocking. That's all that we do with yeah. our time and our money. Yeah. Whatever. We are investing in our wardrobes. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself always. we will show you what, maybe what we get or something. No one cares, but it's okay. This is a video I want to film and then maybe we'll go to the thrift store. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? No. No? Okay. Thanks for watching this video or clicking on it. Uh, if you could thumbs it up and subscribe, that would be great. Unsubscribe. Um, don't unsubscribe. She keeps saying that's so rude. Please don't unsubscribe. Please subscribe. That would be great. Day in the life, a day of shopping with Rini and Rofe. Yeah. I'm gonna cover up though. Do you guys like this top? I got it from Garage, shockingly enough. Actually, I shouldn't say that. That's not very nice. The garage has nice clothing. They just usually don't. <laughs> You know so. what the tea is with Garage what? is that they almost get it right every single time. Yeah, and I feel like they did get it right. The only thing with this is that there is a lot of material at the bottom. Like, it sh there shouldn't be this much, but that's okay. They did a really good job. Well done. They tried their hardest. And it was like 19 something, so it wasn't that much money either, which is great. I thought that this would have been 40 bucks or something stupid, so. Do you want to give a breakdown of your outfit, Sophia? No. Okay. All right, <laughs> with that being said, see you in a bit. So I'm just at Zara right now. I'm gonna try on this. I'm gonna try on this ballet top too. I just love the color. It's that rich chocolate, like autumn color for $29. These are bike shorts. They're just like a bit of a different material. I don't know. I just wanted to try them. I grabbed this hoodie and jeans as well. Our mom jeans are pretty good. good. They have good shape. So I'm gonna try these on and just see if I like them. I haven't bought any jeans in a long time, so. This drives me nuts about the jeans from here. Look how skin tight they are. They're literally skin tight all over my body. Skin tight through the thighs, through the front, and then the gap at the back. I'm just like, why? I kind of like these actually, I'm like not sure. It's just because of the back. They're not like tight, but I feel like that actually would make them more comfortable, so. Maybe I will go for these. Okay, so hear me out. You know, super basic. It just reminds me of stuff that I used to wear to like university, honestly. And it's just making me feel nostalgic. This is the brown top. It has the tie at the side. I like this shirt. It's cute. If I had a bra on, it would be better. It's gonna make my boobs cooperate more. That'd be cuter, right? Instead of these wayward boobs. Okay, now these, they're just too big. Like, they're too long. And then the top of them, like, they just are too big. This color is not good for me. I like it. I've never actually seen you leave the house with a lip liner on. I hate it. You always put on lip gloss. I hate lip liner. Buddy, it looks good. Like it's you fine. look pretty. I just feel like it looks like a lot. So we're gonna do a little clothing haul, right? So we went to Market Mall, so we're back now. I really did drop a bag at Sephora. Yeah. I, it's been so long since I've actually spent a lot of money at Sephora. Okay, a lot of money in my opinion is more than $50 by the way, so be prepared. I spent $120 today. I got my favorite foundation, my go-to foundation, which is Makeup Forever Stick Y365. And then we both got this, right? Yeah! How exciting! Okay, so this is Nude Sticks. This is the highlight that me and Sophia wear every day, right? Yeah. This is the only, the one and only highlighter, but it came in a set of three for less money. For like 32 bucks, you got all of these three ones. I so shouldn't really be a sales associate there. I sold both of us on this little gift set. Well, when you say that you want something, I immediately want it. <laughs> like, that's just how we work. Like, if I do something she wants, you know, we're like very much connected. I actually just put this on my lips. 
I think it looks really hydrated and oh, pretty. Oh, maybe I could do that. Yeah. It's just like a really cute peachy color. It is called, what is this one? Oh. See, I like that better already. My lip liner and then you just. Yeah, because it's too dry, right? The lip liner. Dabby dabby. Oh. Sweet peach. Sweet peach peony. Sweet Slop. peach peony. <laughs> Not like peony, like penis. <laughs> like peony, like the flower. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some on my cheeks. Okay, y'all, it's now a makeup tutorial. That looks cute. Maybe you can't tell, but <laughs> cute. Anyway, so yeah, that color, and then we got sun kissed and our favorite. This is the highlight that we really like. It's just simply the best. Anyway, what else did we get? Got this salad. Yeah, okay. Great. I also got a concealer. I've never tried this before. I might hate it. I actually don't know. But it's the Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Get this cute little top. Okay, yeah. Show them your top. You're proud? Yeah. Maybe I should put it on. Yeah, maybe. It's fuzzy. It's from Zara. And I'll probably wear it one time in a photo. Yeah. And never again. I'm just being honest. Pretty boring. I like filmed all the things I tried on in the store and then I ended up just buying this. So I bought this because I wore it in my, if I bought it, I wore this in a different <laughs> vlog and I really liked it. It's Sophia's, so I just bought the same one. Wow. Yeah. Do you wanna talk about your date? Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Let me know if anyone how else has the same situation where like they haven't gone on a date in a while or like they just haven't like done anything with anyone of the opposite whatever attraction where there's ex expectation there you know i have a date later on tonight <laughs> and i haven't had a proper date in years like it's been a minute since i've actually been on like a date how do you feel i feel weird i'm excited obviously I'm just like worried about, I don't know, getting there and being like, I wish I wasn't here. Like, I don't want to waste my time, you know? Like, that's what I'm most worried about, I think. Yeah, but once you decide that you're going to start dating again, you just have to accept that time will be wasted. You yeah. can minimize the amount of time wasted by just being straight up with your intentions. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it takes time to get to know if you like someone, so. No, you're right, you're right. It does take time, and you know what? You gotta test drive some cars before you buy the car, right? And, like, they're not just, right. the car's not gonna drive up to you. Like, you need to go and search and whatever and put yourself out there. So this nice young man asked me out, and, like, why not? He's actually, you know, doing the right things to, like, ask me out properly, you know? He didn't just say, come over. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. I'm yeah, also, you want to just come, like, no. Yeah, hey, uh, I would love to hang out with you. You want to come over to my house? Never met. Would you like to come <laughs> over to my house? No. Yeah, like, we've talked one time, or met one time, and I would like to go over to your home. Hanging out at your house in your stinky room, my <laughs> life. What's more important? Obviously, chances are they're not going to be a freak, but, like, why would you risk it? for that like go on a date and then realize they're a freak and never see them again yeah at least you're in public yeah exactly that's why i'm excited because he actually like asked me out in a nice way so that's why i'm going do you have anything to add anything to share about dating yes okay. always tell us about your recent um dating um no so <laughs> pause no <laughs> no um but actually yeah i will tell about something um i have learned that it is okay to be direct in what you want it is better this way it saves your time and there's nothing wrong with saying excuse me i'm looking for a relationship not just a funny little thing like i want to date for a purpose not just for fun okay. like it's gonna be fun too if we're meant to be together so like you know I understand that. Like, I feel like I'm at that why point. Why do people always think that having a boyfriend or girlfriend is boring? It can be so much fun. You just can't be boring. You just got a vibe. That's the thing. Yeah. So. Like, that's, I think that's what it is, is people think that when you have a partner that it's boring because they're not with the right person. And that's why it's boring, because you're not, like, having fun together. Exactly. I'm on the hunt for my my honey bun your my sweetie bun honey bun bun yeah. my honey boo your honey your sugar bear your honey boo yeah and me too we're gonna have so much fun together i feel like i'm at that point um <laughs> sis has been through it with men um I've, I've had like the funniest dating stories i feel like i need to do like a tell all on like all the awful you know all of them were awful but like 
on some stories where you could actually just learn a lesson, not just me complaining, but like where it's like, okay, I was robbed by my boyfriend, like that happened. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I've been treated pretty badly before, um, and you know, maybe I could share some insight. I've also been treated very well. I've had both sides of the spectrum, so it's not fun to hurt anyone's feelings. I think it actually hurts more to dump someone than to be dumped. I would rather be dumped than break dumped. up with someone. Same. 100%. And then when you get dumped, at least you just know it's over and you're just like, okay, gotta pick up the pieces. Like, Time wow, to on. that hurt, that sucked, I'm heartbroken. But like, then you can just be mad at them for hurting your feelings instead of like you breaking up with them. It's kind of more confusing because you're like, oh my God, did I do the right thing? Like, I still care about them. Like, am I just confused? Whatever. Da da da. So much about it. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, ready to date someone who seems like they would be actually worth the time. I'm ready to meet my husband. Your husband. So feel free to unveil yourself at any moment. Are there handcuff emojis? I hope so. It is cuffing season, just mm. saying. So So if you want to cuff either one of us. Mm -mm. I'm trying to cuff a man. I don't want to be cuffed. I want to cuff him. Oh, okay. You're going to take him to the keg and grab his hands and say, please be my boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Let's not get it twisted though. We do not need a boyfriend. No, 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 no. I'm just no. saying the next person that I'm like interested in or like dating, like I want to know that it could actually go somewhere. That's all. Yeah, same. Okay, let's fucking go. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go. Enough about that. Make a little boy talk or whatever. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to BB. Come on, let's go. Sophia was mentioning how she enjoys these feature sections in Value Village right now. So cute. Yeah, it is cute. They're pairing all these uh, patterned things. So they're definitely setting up their store like less of a hot mess and more of a store. Yeah. But you know what comes with that? Price increase. I repeat, price increase. Uh, I've been noticing all the purses are starting from $13 and I'm getting a little triggered. So I've seen some pretty stuff. I'm not really finding much. Um, yeah, not really striking out here, but that's okay. You found Sophia. Um, a Ralph Lauren sweater. Wow. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is $16. I'm gonna show you some ugly fucking bags that don't deserve to be $13. Should I buy this? Mm. Like imagine. How big is it? I'm wearing these pants. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing this sweater. Yeah. This little bag. And I'm just jaunting through town. Well, I think that it's worth a jaunt. I look lost. Look at you. Wait, are they baby fat? The laces? Yeah. They're chickens. Oh, they're chickens. I thought it was a cat. No, oh, they're chicken? just cute. Aww. I'm not a huge Chucks like, person. No. I always feel funny about them. I only like them if you wear them with really like baggy pants. Who the fuck was clowning? Look at this guy. We show the vlog your glasses. What do you think? They're actually pretty cool. I like that they're see-through. Looking pretty baddie batty And then on the side, yeah. Bijou. Kind of cool. Okay, I'm back. I look pretty busted. That's okay. That's fine. I can look busted because I'm hung over. After Value Village, we went out for drinks in Calgary. It was really fun. Um, at Value Village, we didn't get anything. We just kind of browsed around and had some fun. We just looked at some of the Halloween stuff they had out. Honestly, just tried on like clothes in the aisles and just kind of made fun of it like how mature and then we left and we took some photos and i went on my date um he was so cute i'm actually like i've restored faith in dating now after last night like regardless of what happens with that guy um he was very sweet and very you know polite and just treated me nicely and it was like a very good first date. So if you're watching, shout out. He even said he watched one of my videos. Like how nice is that? I kind of died inside when he said he watched one of my videos, but anyway. Oh my God. What the hell? I just took so long trying to slick this down. Like stay. I'm actually really hungover. I'm like shocked. I haven't drank in like a month, so I'm feeling pretty sick right now. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of my video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you got this far, thanks. Shout out to you. Don't unsubscribe. Please subscribe, okay? That would be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.